Whoever believes and is baptized would be saved, but whoever does not believe would be condemned, Mark 16, 16. Being saved, being baptized, means to confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that in your heart that you have faith that Jesus is the Son of God. That's what it is. And to be condemned means that you will face God's wrath and be judged and go to hell because you have rejected Jesus' forgiveness. You have rejected him as, as Lord in this lifetime. That's what it means. And there is no condemnation in Jesus Christ. For those who truly love the Lord, you will not be judged because your sins were placed on Jesus at the cross. For those who reject God, um, reject Jesus, reject grace, then they will be judged for rejecting God. When Jesus died on the cross, remember there was two other people that were on the cross and they were criminals. And one of the guys, he did say something to Jesus. I'm not sure what for word, but he said something that basically showed that he had faith in Jesus, that he was the son of God, because I think he said something in lines of Jesus cannot join you in paradise, something like that, and it just expressed that he had faith. So even then, of course, he couldn't get water baptized, but it shows that it's, it's faith, you know, it's truly faith in Jesus Christ as son as Lord, that he's God's son. So, you know, it's still necessary to be baptized because you're showing others, but most importantly is faith because we are, you know, strictly just believing who Jesus is. We are not doing anything out of self-effort, trying to earn anything, trying to earn salvation because it was already provided through Jesus Christ at the cross. You know, before Jesus didn't go to the cross, so in the Old Testament, but now today or where we live and we know that Jesus already died and rose again. So that's true baptism and being baptized with the Holy Spirit is when Jesus makes his way into our hearts you know his Holy Spirit because remember when he you know when he died the Holy Spirit came down on the day of Pentecost and then um, his people were they were tarrying and then the fires came the fire came and there was tongues of fire and they were able to speak in different languages to the people that were there to celebrate Pentecost. And 3,000 people were saved because they were filled with the Holy Spirit. They were speaking in tongues. So even tongues are still necessary. And all these things are for the church age. And that's who we are. So it's very important that we also become baptized with the Holy Spirit. That's what it means. Um, Luke 3.16, John baptized with water. But Jesus, you know, he's filled with the Spirit that he baptized with the Holy Spirit.